Hello again YouTube, my name is Bree, and in today's video I am doing just a little watercolor sketch in this sketchbook that was made for me by my friend Spoaf. You've seen it several times on this channel already, but as a reminder, it has the Bockingford tinted watercolor paper, and I think this color is called oatmeal, it's basically just a tan. And I am using my A Gallo watercolor paints. Um, I've only used them in the video where I unboxed them and painted that little like monk elf dude. So I was really looking forward to getting back into these paints and using them some more. And at this point, anything that makes me excited about making something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lunge on because I am still having a really hard time getting motivated to paint or create or pretty much do anything. Um, I knew this was going to be a bad time at work this month, and the crazy time is almost over, but I basically work two weeks straight, and <laughs> I have no mental capacity left. So this really is a sketch. Um, I think it may be two hours. Um, it definitely hit the point of being finished enough for me to be able to move on, but not like I could have pushed this piece a lot farther. Uh, I just did not have the ability to do so, and I knew that I wouldn't want to go back to it later. I'm definitely the type of person that has a hard time returning to something long term. Um, I like to paint and then move on to the next thing, which is something I do want to work on, but this is a sketchbook. It's fine. So there's really no story behind this piece. I finish work up on Friday and I had just a little ounce of motivation and put down a sketch and I liked where it was going so I decided to make a video with it. I, I know I mentioned I might have taken this week off and made something the following week but I had a little bit of a drive so I decided to go for it. Um, then I was too tired to remember things like autofocus <laughs> and I finished this up the next day, so Saturday, and at that point, like my, by the time I was getting towards the end, my vision was blurring. I was just so tired. I wasn't really feeling good either. I'm just really worn out, and that's when I decided to call it. So there's really no no story, no reason for painting what I'm painting. It's just a doodle, um, but I really do like how it turned out. I, I don't know, I just like the the pose, I guess, um, and the way I painted the skin. I was, I was really happy with how it was coming along. Um, and yeah, if I, I need to work on being able to sit down and come back, or rather come back to things over multiple sittings, because I eventually do want to do bigger paintings and more detailed paintings and really push things. Um, I just lose interest in things pretty quickly, so... I have to figure out ways to keep myself motivated. I think eventually I'll figure something out. Part of my brain th thinks that having like an easel would be good because then I could just keep something on it and see it and then want to go back to it. But if I'm not motivated, I have my desk to do something smaller at. So there's that separation of workspace, but that might just be an excuse to buy something I won't really use. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, um, otherwise, I don't remember what I've already said. It's still in that state. So yeah, been working a lot. Um, we had basically two software releases, essentially back to back. So I had two weekends worth of work. Um, luckily, that is in the past now. Um, we're through that. So hopefully I'll be able to relax and unwind soon and find my motivation again because I do miss the feeling of wanting to just sit down and create um, or really do anything. I've been just kind of sitting down and zoning out and feeling bad about not being motivated to do anything like a lot lately um, to the point where I really don't have too much else to talk about. I guess I could talk about I've been watching TV. Like, I'm not a huge TV person. I usually don't have the attention span, but I, because I don't have the energy for anything else, I've been watching more television lately. So, um, I did watch Arcane finally, and I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, I just finished it like an hour ago. 
so it's like nine episodes and actually took me like two weeks to get through but I did it (laughs) um and I my husband and I started watching um Our Flag Means Death I think that's what it's called the new Taika White is it Waitishi? Waititi? I wow this this mm, we're just gonna keep going um so we start watching that and I'm liking that too he's worse than me about watching tv so we'll watch like an episode or two a week so that will take a while to catch up on um otherwise I've been not much I've been doing not much (laughs) um books I've been reading the first law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie um, I've been wanting to read that for a while. Like I bought it a couple of years ago when it was on sale and I had every intention of reading it. And then the pandemic happened and I knew it was grimdark. So I'm like, Oh, I don't really need more like hopelessness in my life. And I just put it aside and didn't touch. And finally I'm like, you know what? It's time to read the series. And I don't know if it's just like my state of mind or things have changed or it really wasn't grimdark isn't what i thought it was because i'm thinking like walking dead or song of ice and fire so yeah i'm really enjoying that series and it doesn't feel nearly as dark as i or hopeless or something as i expect it to so i'm on the second book of that now um before they were hanged and then uh gosh my other series I'm reading right now, audiobook wise, is the Lycanius trilogy, I think, by James Eilington. And I just finished the first book while I was editing this earlier today. So I will start the second book soon. Um, those, <laughs> that's like the longest audiobook I've listened to. So it took me a while to get through. But I'm really enjoying that one too. It feels kind of like he took some of the general idea. And I know fantasy uses or uses a lot of tropes, but I definitely see influence from like Robert Jordan, maybe even Brandon Sanderson. And he's taking things that they did, but over a really slow buildup and he's keeping it more, he, he moves the story a lot faster which it doesn't mean much with compare it to Robert Jordan honestly but um it's it's not like constant action but it feels like there's constantly stuff that you need to pay attention to and if there's any Robert Jordan fans I definitely know there's people who are like hey he everything he did was important but honestly not everything he did was necessary there's a lot of really slow parts in Wheel of Time and I, that's a hill I'll die on. Um, so it's interesting. Like it, I definitely see that some things are a bit derivative, but it holds my interest. So I'm not mad about it either. So we'll start the second one of that soon. Um, but otherwise I don't have much to talk about. I just figured this would be like a little small update. Um, I, have things I want to paint (laughs) and I'm trying to I I, like I said if I let something sit for too long I don't go back to it and that applies to ideas too so I had all these big ideas about what I wanted to work on after taking that clarity workshop and honestly a lot of them are seeing being less and less appealing the more I let it stew so I'm trying to figure out what I really want to be working on because I know I want to push myself and do more. Um, I primarily do stuff like this where I work in sketchbooks and do little things that don't necessarily have backgrounds or aren't finished pieces. And I know eventually I want to do something, things that are bigger, that are more detailed, that take more time, that I can engage with longer. And I'm ready, I think, to try to work towards that. I just have to figure out how to approach it because if it's a series, then I have to find something I'm really committed to. And I think a series would help because it would keep propelling me forward. So we'll see. I'm not completely there yet. I might kind of trash the plans I had and just take a simpler approach. Next month is April, so it's also plain April. <laughs> the plain air 
thing and I'd love to be able to do something like that but I don't have the time to paint every day um so I'm hoping maybe I can at least get a few plain air pieces in during that month so I also don't want to overcommit because I want to take that time to allow myself to go out and try that because it's still I've only done it a few times so it's big and scary and different yeah so I I think I've already said I don't have anything to talk about like four times so I'm not <laughs> I kind of just said it again anyway but yeah so yeah this was just a, a pretty simple piece and unfortunately the camera loses a lot of the red it, it was a lot more red in person that medici red in this palette is so gorgeous and i really wish it showed up a little better on the video and this piece like it filmed better than i took was able to take a picture of it like it was impossible to take a photo of all the red just gone so anyway i'm this was a fun little doodle um i i appreciate it for the somehow find, giving me a little motivation during this time where I don't have much. Um, I really like the, the way the granulating paints look on this paper too because it's a little bit more subtle and it just kind of gave a fun little textural, textural element to it. It makes me happy. This piece, it makes me happy right now <laughs> even though I keep saying it's just a sketch. It, it, it works for me. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I gotta figure out what I want to work on in the future. I know I want to do these detailed pieces and I just find it so hard to push past a certain point, especially in watercolor. And I know I want to work more on gouache too, because I feel that gouache is more the direction I ultimately want to take for some of the things I want to do. This is so generic and vague, but um, it's really hard for me to work in gouache because I'm just not as comfortable in it and I'm, I feel like I fight it too much still. This background, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I should have just left that like yellow bar in the middle and not try to make it into a pattern because I don't like what I did here <laughs> at all. Um, but that's okay. Live and learn. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go get some rest, go to bed now, <laughs> try to catch up on some sleep. And hopefully everything's quiet this week and I can recharge and do something much more interesting in the next video. Otherwise, I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, getting, getting more rest than me. And I will talk to you again in a future video. And hopefully even get some more Juno clips for you because I have not been able to get one. In any case, see you again next time. Bye.